Welcome back, good looking. And this episode here is a little bit of an embarrassing one, really. Um, my family got me some really great gifts for Christmas, and I kind of treated myself as well. And, um, you know, while at home, not doing anything, I decided to scour the Black Friday shopping experiences, such as Black Friday sales, and I got some things. So without any further ado, I'm going to showcase for you guys today what I picked up in 2021 and what we'll be starting out 2022 with. So if you like that kind of content, you like single eyeshadows, you like makeup brushes, sunscreens, make sure you subscribe down below. Let's get started. All right, the first and probably my most proud purchase of 2021 uh, come and let me go over the prices too actually because I'm I'm kind of proud that I'm a scrappy kind of scroungy scavenger It's my very first ever uh, Pat McGrath mothership palette and I did purchase the uh, Midnight Sun it was on sale for $75 on mother Pat's website and then Instagram gave us a 20% off coupon which I used and I got another 20% off putting the total down to $56.20. So I have received my very first. This is why I buy so much, folks. Because I'm like, look how much I saved. I didn't need this. Um, but I just couldn't fathom the idea. You know, I agreed with Hannah Louise Poston. What kind of content creator am I if I don't experience at least Pat McGrath's formula in one of her motherships? So I did. I purchased it. This one broke up here. Um, but yeah, this palette right here, $56 and 20 cents. And my husband got that for me. Uh, it's more of just like a, okay, fine. You can buy it. He kind of gave in and let me get it. And so that is my very first ever Pat McGrath, um, palette. Okay. So I also was at Kohl's. I found these two palettes here, the Lorac Pro one and the Lorac Pro two. I have no idea which one is which. I didn't realize I didn't tell you, but one of them is one and one of them is two. These I got at Kohl's. I got them for 60% off. I wanna say they were like $8 a piece. Maybe 10, maybe 15, I'm not sure, 12, something like that. So yeah, Jim, my finger right, oh yeah, right there. Slid that puppy right through. I really like them. Um, yeah, got them for really cheap at Kohl's. They were having like 60% off sale in there. I just, I just swatched that for you guys, champagne. This formula right here is very, very indicative of <clears throat> the Makeup Geek formula, MAC formula, when they didn't really have like super shimmery metallics. Next thing I hit up was the Lorac website and I set out to get both the Soleil, which is what is featured right here, and the Noir, but the Noir had sold out. So I did pick up the Soleil palette. Very happy with this purchase. And if you guys don't already know, you guys can take and remove the pans. So we'll be doing a lot in 2022 with these and kind of doing some side eyeing. Um, one of my purchases didn't quite pan out for me. We'll get into that in just a moment. But picked up this guy, $22. They are now $39. And so I really think they're worth it. I got it for 40% off Black Friday. So I got it for $22 shipped for free. And I didn't have to pay sh uh, taxes, I don't believe. No, I paid taxes. I didn't pay shipping. There you go. There you have it. So now I have the Soleil and then I have the Fairy Tale Forest. I'm going to feature a couple of pictures of this bad boy here on my Instagram. So go check out my Instagram. I also have a TikTok that I just randomly will post on every once in a while. It's more for fun. It's not really anything like serious, okay? Um, and so it used to be I like to put on my makeup geek like swatches and all that good jazz. But I kind of also found the funnier side of TikTok. So I have a TikTok. So go ahead and check that out and follow me there if you want. All right, next, I did find on Sephora the Sunset Palette for half off, so I picked it up. Now, I really thought this palette was going to be a lot nicer than it was. They do boast some Chroma Crystal. Yeah, there's some Duochrome Chroma Crystal, but they don't look like the Gold Chroma formula 
this chroma formula is way different it is like an ultra shimmer so hmm not sure how I feel about that but I do like the color story and there is some colors in here that I would be willing to bet I can make a five pan out of so there you go pick that one up it was $65 okay <clears throat> Black Friday Natasha Denona had a lot on sale and this is probably the one that I'm the most proud of if you will but it's also the one that I probably should have never really purchased from because I was like you know I really don't need to I really don't need to but I did it and here we are I picked up oh lord you guys saw in the previous episode I picked up um, a couple of face products here I'll show you I have her new um those don't even that does look very yellow doesn't it I don't know why on camera it looks very yellow almost olive and in person it is neutral to like pink and it is um, the foundation and concealer I got both of those for half off and then are you ready for it I don't think you're ready for it I picked up both <laughs> the most expensive palettes in the world is actually these two right here and I picked up this guy as well as two of the face palettes this one and this one these were on sale for like 60% off but they came in a package so I spent $55 and I got both of these and I thought this was the um, I thought these two right here were the Lord mercy. don't break it now Kendra you, you can't buy it again alright <clears throat> I picked up these two I already own the other one I picked it up earlier in 2021 and it is somewhere I'll post the picture right here so I have three I don't have the love one and I thought that that was this one right here but I guess that's not any which way I really like them I've used both of them and I very nice formula very easy to use and I really don't have to think a whole lot so that's what I really like about it now I ended up with the Biba palette for $65 it was not posted for $65 the Leela palette however was posted for $65 that's the original palette that I had chose to buy I chose to get the Leela because it was um, expiring and they were discontinuing it and I was going to I have lash in my eye there we go I was going to pick it up, dupe the vibes of it, reverse dupe the vibes, and then kind of give you guys some alternatives just because I know the formula is pretty, pretty impressive on that guy. They sold out and notified me and stated, hey, would you like one of the $129 palettes out of Trio Chrome, Circle Loco, or Biba, or Sunset? Well, I already ordered Sunset off of Sephora for half off. So I went ahead and picked up Biba. So I actually got this for $65. It was supposed to be the Leela. I can't say that I'm mad, but here it is. I like Natasha Denona's matte formula, but I already have the Safari palette. So I was really <laughs> hoping for the Leela because it had dual chromes and it had a specific formula in it that I was really, really hoping to pick up to help out with duping my star because that's the palette that I really, really, really want. Um, but anyways, nonetheless, I got this bad boy, $65, and uh, nobody else has gotten it for that low. Then I picked up these two bad boys right here. I picked up the most expensive palettes in the world. Actually, I did look this up at one time. I was like, what's the most expensive eyeshadow palette in the world? And this is what came up right here. These are some older formulas. Um, whoa, back down. Stand down. They're much more like sophisticated and the reason that I picked these was because they have a lot of shimmers in them but these are a very raw formula a very raw palette if you ask me um, here's the other one there's gonna be a 10 part series on this these two palettes here starting with how on earth am I gonna get all these pans labeled um, and I really don't like these little flappy things here this makes it look cheap and this right here, this is how the green-brown palette comes. Consequently, this is how the blue-purple palette comes. Can you tell the difference? Neither can I. So we're going to, I'm putting a 10-part series together where we'll figure out how to label them, or I'll just label them. I don't care, and I'll document it. So if you guys don't like it, so what? Watch it anyways. 
Um, but yeah, I guess, I mean, on the back you can see green, brown, and then you can see purple, blue. Uh, but you can't really tell from the front, you can't really tell from the, the, the spine what kind of pouts they do get dirty. Although they are like really high glossy shine, so they just wipe right off. But anyways, nonetheless, I picked up those two. I'm, I picked them up for half off, so I paid $239 and I got both of them. That was that was the key deal, 50% off. I had to have at least 40% off in order to purchase almost any of my Black Friday deals. I had to get them for 50% off. Otherwise, I wasn't gonna bite. I'm like, uh, you give me the buy one, get one, or off. <laughs> because I'm, I'm sorry, makeup doesn't need to be that expensive. I have an idea in my head of how much something should cost. In, when it gets down to that price, I may or may not purchase it by then, but that's just the way I am. Okay, I also picked up these two palettes. I found them on sale, and it is the Mini Love and the Mini Sunrise palette. I don't know why I picked up this bad boy, because I don't really particularly like pinks, and I know anybody who's watched my channel for any amount of time knows I really don't care for pinks all that much. However, these really go well with the blue purple palette for some transition shades. So I'm willing to make that exception. And I think that this has a couple of duochromes in it that like this giving shade is a duochrome and pure love. That's also a duochrome. They look very nice. I, I have to say they look very nice. So I really like that. I picked up sunrise. Sunrise gets a lot of praise and most people love the color story. I love the color story. This right here, this duochrome, this is that purpley blue pinky shift. It keeps appearing. It comes here. But I wanted a an actual green brown or a blue brown. Is it this one? No. It's this one here. See, this is what I mean. Like I'm we're going to fix this. And it's called Calypso Blue right here. Oh, they're not the same. In fact, I like this one a lot better. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that might actually work for my star dupe. So, spoiler alert, I'm going to see if I can't use these two um, large pans palettes to create the star dupe and try and get that. That'll be part of my 10-part series. But you can see right here, right now, this is kind of what I ended up with. Those two right there. I thought they were the same. Oh, I see. See how they kind of look the same? And then when you see the shift, it is different. So yeah, there you go. Nice, nice. Um, really excited to have these in my collection. So if you guys don't know, Natasha Denona, Lorac. There was another one that I kept missing on the previous when I, when I did some of my videos in 2021. <clears throat> and it's a big one. Color pop. Who else pops their pants? You, you can pop the pants out of. And it's a big one, and I'm like missing it. Oh my goodness, do I have them here? Oh, Tarte. Tarte has their new toasted palette, and I believe the In Bloom, the big one, you can also pop pans out of now. They're making them removable as well. So Natasha Denona has their little, you know, universe where you can pop pans out, make different palettes. So that's really ultimately why I fed into purchasing Natasha Denona. Um, not so much using her palettes as you know singles from there I may from time to time if there's like a really difficult shade showcase for you guys a shadow but the point of me duping the vibes and using single eyeshadows is that I always keep in mind I want you guys to be able to purchase one or two shades that you don't already have for your collection and that you might want to include and they'd be like the special shades so I know there's other stuff that I bought. Oh, I did make a Flower Beauty purchase and I bought a, another concealer for a backup. And it was before I bought the Natasha Denona because it was supposed to be a backup of this. However, I don't think those are gonna work. This is too dark of a shade. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I probably can't even really use it on my skin. I also bought, what else did I buy? I bought this, I bought a lip oil. Oh, and I bought a cheek. I'll put it up here or right here maybe. I know, I'm sitting on my foot now. It's different, it's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. But anyways, that's what I purchased. 
that's kind of what led me to my opener, my season opener for 20, nothing new 22. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We will be doing a lot of videos, eclectic videos of such as, can I fix an astral shade in the Pat McGrath palette? Can I do it? Well, we're gonna find out. And then I'm also going to take the raw forms of those 28 pan palettes, kind of transform them, get them labeled, figure out a way to be able to distinguish from the outside of the palette, the blue brown or the green brown and the purple blue palette. And you guys are not going to want to miss an episode. So, oh wait, there's more. <laughs> I forgot all about some of the stuff that I've already put away for nice swatches, Kendra, right? This is a different day, by the way, if you can't tell. But um, I found a couple more gifts that I got for Christmas that my family got me. So one of the things that I put down on my Christmas wish list is um, empty magnetic palettes. And so I just chose one off of Amazon. I thought that was pretty easy. So here's the one that I originally bought from Adept Cosmetics. And then this is the one that I asked for. I don't even think it's all in frame. There you go. So this one's the 88 pan, I think. And then their newest one, which is a larger one, holds like maybe a hundred and some odd palette or shadows is right here. I just wanted to show you guys the difference. This is a more chic like leather, faux leather, snake skin. And this has just more of a textured, um, it kind of looks like an upholstery type of Thing, but they both say inconspicuously adept cosmetics I hope I don't break this right here oh there you guys go you can see it right there just like on the original one I wish I will have it linked down below I'll link it for you guys um, it's it's a little big it's I'm not gonna lie it's a little big for me I thought I was ordering a secondary one of these but I guess I wasn't and this one was only like three dollars more and this one feels a little bit more luxurious and let's just keep talking and bashing about my choices not really but here you can see this one I think this one houses 64 and the other one is like maybe 88 or something like that but it's it's substantially larger and heavier let me show you all right, so there you have it. I hope you can see the difference. <clears throat> there it is. This one to me is a little bit more luxurious, a little more of that chic, that faux snake skin. Nice. Anyways, they're both gonna be really useful. I'm hoping that I can get all my Luxy shadows in this one and then that'll free up a couple of other palettes for me to put some of my smaller, um, smaller collection of brands in, like Terra Moons and couple of other ones. I also asked for some candles and I got this Jo Malone grapefruit scented candle. This is not makeup related by the way, but I just asked for it because I wanted it. Oh my goodness. That was not supposed to be in frame. Sorry. I was supposed to have this back here just burning away, but mm -mm, I did not. And then I got the Taylor Wynn trio. I already burnt up one of them. So I do kind of want to talk about that's the one that I burnt up. Oh my gosh, she got me the whole set and she got, okay, so my mom got me four of them. She got me lime into coconut. I, I don't even think I smelled it. Oh, it smells really good. And then she got me late night glow, smoked cedar, sandalwood, clove, leather, amber musk. What's more to love than that? Um, this is called late night glow. It's the Taylor Wynn collection. I burnt the one that smells like it's inspired after the um, Moogler's Alien. And I will say it only took me about a week to burn it up. And I burnt it probably a minimum of two hours a day up to five hours. So about a week. So you got like 20 hours. Wasn't really impressed with that whole aspect. But they are only $22 can candles. So, you know, I mean maybe that sounds about right but they are boy wax and there's a definite difference i wasn't really like smelling them like sorely fragrantly the joe malone candle i think is also soy based but i smell it the whole downstairs like if i burn this in my studio the whole downstairs smells and the my downstairs is about 1200 square feet so it's quite fragrant and then i have love you loads 
not really a huge fan of it. Also, the thing I do want to mention is that they came like this and there's no lid. The only lid came, there's only one lid that came with the entire set. And I, my mom ordered four candles and she said that's how they came. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be. I would think that each one would have its own lid. But there you go. It does have a wood wick and you have to be very careful. I go and trim it every couple of times, but when it got down here, I trimmed it a little too much. And because of the lack of airflow, it was hard to get it started. So I ended up burning, starting it up, and then basically decanting some of the wax that it burned off. So just to let you know, oh great, the neighbors that just moved across the street, they just saw me. Um, and they just moved in here, so welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> you know, so that's something to know. I don't know if that was done on purpose or if that was an accident. I, I would like to think that that was an accident because I would think that every candle would come with its own lid. I'm, I'm not really sure. But anyways, this is the set that Taylor Wynn put out and she, it's a fundraising set and you'd have to go to her website or the, you'd have to go to the website to find out what exactly the fundraiser is for, but she does do the proceeds um, help fundraise for something and I'll link her set down below so if you guys want to check it out you can I I wanted some really nice fragrant candles that would burn clean and they do they do but they're not as good as the Jo Malone however the Jo Malone I think was quite a bit more expensive too so that might also be um a reason why anyways that is it I think for everything that I got for Christmas Thanks so much for joining me in this episode, and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye!